In your first stand-up show, like at the pizzeria, you said, you know, it was it was bad and maybe it discouraged you a little bit. What would you say? Say most people are going to have bad first open mic experiences. Like what would you say to someone who just did it? They went in, they completely bombed in front of like three people or 20 people or 100 people. How do you reflect on that now? Let's say if you had a bad show now and get back onto it the next day or the next week to keep going. Well, if you had a bad show and you feel bad, then that's actually good because you care. You know what I mean? Like if you had a, like we have a lot of guys who, and I kind of was the same way, you know, when I started, you know, whether it's a podcast or doing comedy, I would like take a shower and get all gelled up and like want to be all cool. Like, because, you know, I'm still like trying to impress, right. Or, or whatever. And, and then sometimes we'd have a lot of comics, not going to say any names or anything who would then get mad at the audience. And I was like, I don't think it's their fault. Even if they're not listening, like it's our job to make one person laugh or make a hundred laugh or to deal with somebody heckling us or have, maybe they had a bad day with the wife, whatever. Right. So um, for me, always, I knew after a bad show that I, I mean, I was pissed off and I was either angry at myself or angry at the circumstance, but I knew that I cared still. So if you don't care and you're like looking at other reasons to blame, like the manager messed up or whatever, you know, you, you're just pointing the finger and maybe you're not, you're not in it for the right reason. My personal experience, I could be wrong. Uh, but I honestly think that, uh, you know, any, anything that's worth doing is going to be difficult, whether it's singing, podcasting, acting, writing, starting a startup company, you know, whatever, making an app, like it all seems easy and glamorous stock trading, which I've been doing these days, like everything sounds exciting, but if it's not difficult and heartbreaking at times and frustrating, then it's probably not worth it. You know? So, um, I've always felt that as long as, uh, I kind of felt the pain and I didn't just disregard it. Like there, there's also a time in comedy and anything where you get jaded and you're just kind of over it. And you're just kind of, I know a lot of comics who they have a bad show, but they just grab a beer and they just get on to the next one. And in a way that's good. It's perseverance, but in another way they stop reflecting and they stop improving and that's not good either. So for me personally, as long as I feel that sting, I know I'm still in the game and I usually kind of use that to fuel myself going forward. Subscribe for more of this good stuff. See y'all in the next one.